And a third mixing board that we use in our community is the Samson. It is another step up from the other two we just looked at. A little bit more sophisticated capability for mixing. It's got an equalizer built in. It's got a built in amp in the back and the speakers plug into the back. Let me just hit the main sections. This section down here is where you plug your inputs in. This section here is for the individual channels. A single channel is controlled by the knobs in the vertical direction. And you can see this system has eight channels across. This section here is the effects. And then this section here is where the main output is controlled. On the individual channels, the signal first gets attenuated by the gains that are right here. From there, the signal gets distributed to the rest of the channel. The EQ are these three knobs here. So this is high, medium, low. You can accentuate the sounds in each of those frequencies or decrease the sounds in those frequencies. This is a pan button to determine whether you get signal out left or right. And this is the individual channel volume. Up here at the top, this blue knob is also a, a volume or gain control if you're using it in the form of a monitor system. So that's a function of a button that we're going to show you in a minute. And this red auxiliary is the effects button. How do you set these gains? As people are playing, if I turn up the gain too high, I start getting a peak red light here. And that means that the signal is getting distorted. So you want to make sure that you pull back on the gain enough so that you do not see those red lights peaking. And then the other indicator of whether you've got that adjusted correctly is when the main volume is kind of set mid-level and these are set mid-level, you've got a good sound quality coming out so that you have a good wide range control on the main volume. This is the kind of the main output area. After the channels all get mixed, they get sent over into this area. Uh, the effects here controls what type of effects you wish to use. You just turn the knob to pick, you know, what number of effect you wish to use, 1 through 100. In this area, this is where the, the entire EQ for the entire system is. It's a graphic equalizer and it allows us to accentuate highs and lows in various frequencies that are listed along the bottom here. And that allows us to adjust the entire sound system to match the sound of the room. This red knob is the amount of total effects that gets sent to the main. This white knob is the individual volume for either the left and right channel or for the mains and monitors. So a very important button is this one here that allows us to put the Samson into three different modes. You can see all the way down here at the bottom it's called main bridge. And what that does is that combines all of the amps together into one single output. Typically you would never use that mode. The next mode up says left and right. So that's a typical stereo system type of output. This button controls the left and this button controls the right volume coming out of the left and the right speakers. For, in most cases we want the volume to be the same out of the left and right. And so we would have these dials equal. Whatever setting they are they should be set equal. However, if we have chosen in this button to use mains and monitors, then in that case we got a different mix coming out of the mains than we do out of the monitors. Monitors are pointed up at the performers, and so we may wish to have a separate volume uh, coming out of the monitors versus what the house is hearing. And a separate EQ for the monitor versus the EQ for the house. Don't be intimidated by the dials and knobs. Operation is the same basic operation as the other soundboards. And there are some fancy dancy buttons that this system has that might end up confusing you. So this button here, it mutes channels 1 through 8. If you've got that turned on, you're not going to hear anything coming out of your channels 1 through 8. And that's a fancy way of cutting the whole band off all at once. So if you wanted to play a stereo through an iPod, you can cut out any extraneous noise or microphone feedback that might be coming through channels 1 through 8. Next button is Phantom Power. That sends power to very special microphones that we have none of in our community. Of course here you can see if there's peaking of the two amps, if they're, if they're over, over driving. Another fancy dancy thing that we got here at the bottom is you can plug in two different stereo and what this slider allows you to do is to fade from one to the other so that 
uh, you can kind of do a crossover smoothly. These white knobs are the individual volumes on the, that particular stereo. So if I'm playing an iPod coming through this channel, you know, and I want to hear it, I've got to turn the volume up on it. But if I've got this slider all the way over to this side, no matter how much volume I put in this side, all the input's coming from over on this this set of channels over here that have nothing plugged in and I won't hear anything. I can't say this was very wacky, but it was a sound education for you on the Samson system. Join us next time.